Old Row 3 is now in open beta. It was in early access for four years. Um, I had some issues with this game when I played it about four to five months ago. I tried it again in open beta. I think I might like it less now. Um, we're going to dive into why. And listen, I don't get on top of games negatively on this channel. Uh, rarely, if ever. But this, is, this, is, this has got some problems. Before we get into the ugly, I guess, um, let's talk about what is good about this. And, and hands down, without a doubt, the thing that is the best about World War III is its um, weapon customization options. Now this is a look at what you're able to do in-game via a backpack inventory uh, setup that is pretty cool, but there's one thing about it that I thought was a little strange is that a couple of these sights that I'm, you're seeing me reattach or take off of the gun there, um, they're sights you can't put on the gun regularly um, from the main weapon menu in the actual menu before the game. I don't quite understand why I can't put this on my gun at the beginning, if this is the one I prefer. It's just, these are just secondary, but um, when you're in the actual weapon customization menu in the uh, main part of the game, before you start a match, um, you have tons of options, tons of attachments. Uh, I'm sorry I don't have any um, any video of that. I, th I thought I had recorded some. Um, turns out that it didn't record, and I had already deleted this game, so we're not gonna look at that today. But uh, trust me when I tell you that it is really great. Uh, that is one thing the game does very well. Um, there are a lot of weapons as well. Um, yeah, they got that going. So the first thing we're going to have to talk about here is optimization. Now, this game was never uh, terribly well optimized, uh, but I ran pretty stable uh, previously when I played this months ago. Um, now, I didn't have monitoring tools at the time, so I'm not sure how much worse it is now, but I can tell you for sure it is. And if you take a look at the top here, you'll notice um, that I'm only using about 40% of my GPU at any given moment and only 25% of my CPU. And that's just a huge underutilization of the tools that I have on hand. Now, everybody's system is going to be different. Mine is a good one. I'm running a, a Ryzen 9 5900X CPU at 4.5 gigahertz. So there's absolutely no reason for the CPU to be running so low. It's not being bottlenecked at all. Um, and the GPU, if you're not familiar with uh, PC gaming, you know, you want your GPU to be utilizing between 90 and 97 percent of its uh, potential and obviously here in this case it's way under that and that's not good and on top of that it will also create performance issues and you'll see fps drops and you'll see hitching and stuttering and that's all to do with the optimization being very poor so something else that really needs to be addressed if they want this game to be playable for a long period of time for anyone is region preference selecting. As you can see here, everybody on this team has a latency that is subpar, if not very poor, and it's the same on the other side here as well. This shouldn't be happening, and a simple way to help at least alleviate some of that problem would just to simply have region preferences. Now, you're not going to have a server browser, at least for a while, unless this game gets very popular, but you can at least give people the opportunity to make sure that they're finding servers that are somewhere close to where they live. It helps a ton with overall stability in a game, especially online. Something else that's a little difficult to show you because it's more felt than it is really seen specifically, um, at least from a third person perspective here, um, is there's an issue where when your character runs into something, and usually it's in tight situations, sort of like on stairs or climbing a, um, a scaffolding situation here in this mall, you'll get stuck to it as you're trying to move and your guy just completely slows down or stops completely. It's really, really annoying and it's one of the things that I think, I mean, really adversely affects the gameplay as much as anything because it's it's a physical problem with the world that you're interacting with. And, uh, you know, I would have thought that this would be something you just, you, you just fix. And this has been an issue since I was playing it. And as far as I know, it's been an issue I just since the game released in early access and it's kind of am amazing to me that it's something that basic just f you know physical traversal of the environment you're in is so broken um it's 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 really annoying and one thing that i absolutely could not get over playing this the very first time was how bad the audio uh, mixing was particularly on the weapons and the vehicles the vehicles sound really bad but the weapons didn't sound good either 
They did an update. Uh, they supposedly improved the weapon sounds and they improved spatial uh, audio. I can tell you that the spatial awareness thing is a bit better. You can at least sort of tell which direction things are coming from, aside from hit markers. Uh, but the guns don't sound good at all. Tell me this sounds good. I think what they did is they just took the audio sounds they already had and they just re-EQ'd them by adding more bass to them. Before they were, I mean, they were identical sounds. Um, they just were, they had no low end and then they just added some low end to them. I mean, they're just not good and it's okay if they're not, but don't, don't say that they are and then, you know, just tweak the EQ on them. That's not, you know, yeah, it is what it is. Listen, all in all, it's still a free game, right? So. I'm not going to tell you not to play this game. I'm just going to tell you that I'm probably never going to play this ever again. And it's not because, you know, I have anything against the people making it or anything. It's just, it just isn't fun. I don't think it's very fun. I don't know. I'd rather play, you know, I'd rather play Shatterline, honestly, if I'm playing a free game. Shatterline's a great free game that looks, aesthetically at least, has equal graphics, but it's just better made. It's better made. There are region preferences. Um, there are a lot more people playing it as well right now, which is incredible. And it just seems like there's gonna, that game's gonna continue getting updates and support, and they talk to their community. Um, it's it's just a better game, and this, this just is over. I'm over this now. Listen, if you enjoyed the video, maybe drop a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the bell for more content. Let me know if you're playing World War III and how you like it, because I have a feeling that I'm not going to be in the majority of people that are saying that they don't like this game. I'm so amazed how many big, kind of bigger content creators are just like praising this game. I don't get it. It's it's not good. Um, that's my humble opinion, I guess, on the, on the matter. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Thank you for stopping by. We'll see you later.